Sunbury Housewives coming back at you with a brand new video. I'm Shell. MJ. And what do we got for them today? We have been tagged in a Halloween tag questionnaire type thing. So, 30, she can explain it. I don't really understand it. We got 30 spooky questions. But it, but it, let me start over. 30 spooky Halloween questions that we have to answer. Hmm. Ooh. You like our necklace? Yeah. We got some you others can't really too. tell that it's blinking. No, you really can't. I thought with the wearing black you might be able to. Oh, it, wait. Is yours on? Mine's on. Mine's on. You can kind of see. Yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Anywho, so to get into the spirit, we're going to take a moment and really get into the spirit. And we're back. Boo! Don't fret, it's just us. Ah! Yeah, this mask ain't going to last long, I'm going to tell you that right now. I'll we'll try, though. We'll get started with these questions. Let's see if I can read without my glasses on. Because they would not fit under this. Okay, so question one. Favorite horror or Halloween theme song? The Monster Mash. The Monster Mash. Because it's not scary. scary. I don't like scary things. Which is going to make for a great video. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Two. Name something you wouldn't want to run into... In a dark forest or an abandoned building. Clown. Anything that's going to murder me. Anything scary. A murdering clown. Yeah. 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 That would suck. Anything evil that wants to hurt me. Yeah. Yeah. Number three. Have you ever played with the Ouija board? N I have been around one. Did I get invested in it? No. Was I heavily influenced because I was like about 10 years old? Yeah. Would I ever, ever go near one again? Absolutely stinking not. Ever. In life would I open that portal to hell. I did when I was real little because I didn't know what it was. And um, it scared the crap out of me. And would I ever touch one again? Hell no. No. Okay, favorite horror movie, oh wait, favorite horror monster or villain? God. Um. These are hard, because I am not into this stuff. Casper the Ghost one? <laughs> Any villain on Scooby-Doo, whoever got caught doing dirt. Whoever the mystery machine yeah. caught doing, doing right. the dirty deed. Yeah. Yeah. It's as scary as it gets, people. I mean, it's, it's, it's creepy. Um, the creepiest thing that's ever happened while you were alone. I've seen a ghost or two in my life. I have. She don't believe it, I don't think. But I have. Well, I'm sure. My Ann Appleton and Karen Appleton know all about it. Yep, it was a... I've heard things. It was a friendly ghost. I've seen, like, just sitting out here, I know I've seen things, like, staring in our windows and stuff. I won't live in a house if so I know someone's died there. There's lots of people died in my house, and I, I don't... It doesn't scare me at all. It really doesn't. I, I've never had an issue there. My kids said they've seen some stuff, but, you know, I don't know. I think, it, it. I don't think it bothers me anymore. I believe in God too much. Nothing shall hurt me if I pray it away. All right, well, then this next one should be no problem for you. Okay. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you? Yep. No. I would. I wouldn't. 
You just pray it away. Well, then enjoy your night in the haunted house. I wouldn't do like the insane asylum, something like that. But like, to me, to a lot of people think that my house is a haunted house because it used to be like they used to be. It used to be somewhat of a like a nursing home. I've never gotten that creepy vibe type from your house. Facility. Though that was made into a house. I don't know the whole story, but a lot of people always say that it's haunted and I just don't get, it don't creep me out at all. Are you superstitious? Yes. No. I am. I had deja vu today, so I feel like something's going to happen today. That's only because your legs started bleeding again. Nope, it was deja vu when I was sitting there getting ready to get dressed and I had a deja vu. So now I feel like something weird is going to happen today. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? Yes. yes. All the time. All the time. Especially outside. Don't scare me though. Half, most of the time. No, I just am like... And then I'm, and then I'm like, oh, something either flew past the window, like a bird or something, or it was a tree, or yeah, I talk myself out of it. Unless it's a snake, and then if I see a snake around. flying past my window, we've got real issues around here. Mm. Which urban legend scares you the most? I don't know. I just. I would have to say like Bloody Mary because sometimes that'll pop in my head and then I have to go to the bathroom really late at night and I'll go like this past the mirror. Really? Yes. That's weird. I don't know. I don't really believe in it, but it gets into my head. Yeah. So it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know if like the exorcism is an actual urban legend oh, because yeah. I think it really happened. And I think it's still, like, exorcisms do happen. So, I, don't, I can't say it's an urban legend, but those freak me out. And I do watch shows on that, too. Oh, our show, our TV's constantly on the ID channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do, let's see where we are at. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Neither. If I can make it 15 Sus minutes past a movie, it's a good day. It's, I would say, more suspenseful for me. Like, I hated Saul. I, I don't hated watch, Saul. I don't like scary movies. Mine are more suspenseful, like, whodunits. Like, I don't know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's not like scary movies it's more uh, kind of like the id channels like the <laughs> like the stuff that could really, really happen. possibly happen yeah possibly like it's more believable than yeah. saw more you know biograph. tracking around on a little tricycle with a mask on <laughs> like that stuff pisses me off it's stupid it's just dumb yeah and it's gory and disgusting. And right. I don't get it. No. Yeah. Like Scream and... So stupid. Jason and Frank Friday the 13th and Halloween. Um, that one, um... Go... I'll never ever remember the name of it. Okay. Do you uh, believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? Yeah. Why would God just pick us? Hmm? All this space and opportunity. I don't, when you say that, I'm saying like, is the, does that mean is there a heaven and a hell? Yeah. Well, that's what, I'm, that, that's what was confusing me about that. I mean, I believe there's us, 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 and then I believe there's heaven and then there's hell. I don't believe that there's another. I do believe that that, that spirits get trapped in the. In between universe, and they can't always pass through. At least that's the way it's always been explained to me. Like they, 
they need an at least a, that's what I was taught in the um in poltergeist you had to go to the light to get through to the other side this is so annoying Caroline Caroline she was so country I know mm. okay let's see um ever made a potion of any sort that's stupid no. no I've made coffee with Reese's creamer though I've made like cocktails but not oh, any yeah we potion. made some pretty good drinks yeah but no potions like witchcraft potions no have you oh do you get scared easily yes me not so much I am the biggest scaredy cat ever the only thing I'm scared of I'm telling you is snakes well I'm terrified of snakes too but I get scared very easily can I take this off it's making me irritated everything is you woke up irritated I did and I'm trying to snap out of it snap out of it I'm trying okay let's see have you ever played Bloody Mary no I have when we were kids we used to play it all the time me and my brother and he used to convince me that it was for real for real and and your name's Mary <laughs> yeah and that used to freak me out because that was my name and and that's why I don't get why I'm so freaked out about it is I've never played it but it freaks me out and me and like I have a gazillion cousins and I think we used to always have sleepovers and stuff and that would be the one thing we play or light as a feather stiff as a board I used to play that all the time and we would swear that we'd get some lift yeah we didn't no no alrighty here's here's oops, sorry here's an interesting one do you believe in demons and the devil yeah you believe in them I believe th they the devil exists I believe the devil exists I do not believe in the devil no I don't believe the devil can do anything to me nope because I am covered with the blood of Jesus Christ yeah we cuss a little but don't mean we don't have faith that's right he forgives me on a daily he has to because I ask mm -hmm. every night before I go to bed yeah. sure do okay let's see um, you're home alone but you hear footsteps in your house what do you do go get in my car and bail <laughs> out well that'd be impossible because if I'm home alone Michaela has my car <laughs> So therefore, I don't know what I, I'd sit in my chair. And I don't know the covers. Probably like I'd be on the phone with someone, be like, oh, 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 oh. call the preacher over. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't, I'd probably just be like, Lord, I'm coming to see you now. <laughs> oh, it's the big one, Margaret. What? What am I talking about? I don't know. What Sanford and Son. Sanford? It's the big one. I don't remember. I forget what her name is. Joe it'll hit, it'll hit you tonight. I know. Joe loves that show. Okay. If you get trapped in one scary movie, what would you choose? Which would you choose? The one where I live, of course. Oh, I finally remember the name of that movie, Final Destination. I kind of like that one. Freaks me out, though. What movie would I choose? Which one's not scary? Ooh, and which one would I choose? Okay. The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Because that can be a little... Alice in Wonderland scares the bejesus out of me. I'm not shitting you. I cannot watch that movie. It scares me to death. It is so creepy. The stuff that they... Mm -mm. I, I don't think I've ever made it through the whole movie. Wizard of Oz is a, a close second. I don't like that crap. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? This. Because it's simple. Yeah. Although this would have to go. It looks like I have no eyes because my eye holes aren't... <laughs> Um, 
I go as a napper. A napper? In my pajamas. Oh, yeah. Some comfy jammies. <laughs> yep. Yep. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Hell no. True story. True story this. I have. You have. But true story for me. We used to live down the street when I was growing up. Down the street from a graveyard. Shit you not. I was so scared to drive past. Drive past. Drive past the graveyard on my way home from work at night because I was afraid to watch to see someone walking around in the graveyard that I drove past it like this. Grown, grown ass woman. And sometimes I'll still do that. Well, yeah. when I'm allowed to drive, but. They don't scare me. They don't scare me. I'm a scary cat. Okay. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your so weapon of choice? Stupid. Okay, no zombie apocalypse. A cross because Jesus will get me through. Because there ain't no such thing as a damn zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse. There's no such stupid thing. Get over yourself. Sorry, Kelly. Oh yeah, Kelly. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna call you no names. I know that's your thing. I know you like it, but it ain't no such thing. It ain't no such thing. Let it go. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Party. Neither. Really, I was gonna say. I'd like the candy. But. I'd rather just stay home in my pajamas. Yeah, that that's a no winner. You're in a horror horror movie. A horror movie. Horror. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? The first to die, because I want to get that crap over with and be done with it. I throw myself out, so. I would want to say that I'd with. be the smart one, but we know that's probably not true. You'd be too freaked out. You I know? would be too freaked out. I'd probably also be the skeptic. Like Velma? I'm back to Scooby-Doo. You're back to Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Um, or the comic relief, like... It's shit. not funny. Ain't nothing scary no. funny. No. I'd probably be the first to die. I, I, for real, would choose to be the first to die. Like, just, just get this shit over with. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to live through it. Just take me. Take me, God. Take me. I'd like to be the final one who makes it, but that we all know that probably wouldn't happen either. I'd hope to fall into a deep nap and then just have him kill me while I'm asleep. That'd be the ultimate goal. Right. Um, are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? Both. I just get scared. I don't have the energy to be scaring people. If I get the opportunity, I'll scare the crap out of people. Joe scares me all the time. But I'm he, usually the one getting scared. He, w he will walk by in the middle of the night and be like, what are you doing? And, it, and I'll be dead asleep for four hours and he wake me straight up out of my sleep like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's special. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Whilst, whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? Okay, first of all, I don't watch scary movies, but the times that I have, I fell asleep. This is me. Not only do I have my eyes covered, but I have my thumbs in my ears, and I go. <laughs> The whole time. I just fall asleep. I don't even care. I don't even get to the scary part. I just go to sleep. I do not do scary movies. No. Um. I think my dog's dreaming. <laughs> Favorite scary book. 
I wouldn't dare read a scary book. Now. It wouldn't interest me. I have to be really, and, and I read a lot, but it, it, I read like documentaries and, well, is that what they're called? Biographies. Autobiographies or yeah. biographies, yeah. Um, I read stuff like that or, you know, things about celebrities. I'm good for that. But never would I sit down and read a scary book. I actually, I don't know if you would classify it as a scary book, but it's more of a intense, I don't know, but it was a book by Dean Koontz, and I cannot remember the name of it. I remember the cover very vividly, but like this guy kidnapped this girl, and then she had to escape. But it was definitely... Um, I did read Flowers in the Attic. That was kind of creepy. Yeah. Oh, I watched. I read those when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. I think it, my mom turned me on. My to mom it, did and too. I was like, "What are you trying to scar me for life? Like, what kind of crap is this?" <laughs> and then I get older and watch the movie, and it's nothing like the book. No. And then so, how they have a new one out. I didn't even know the about remake the of it. One. Yeah. But your hair is like a spider on me. I'm or shedding. It's my hair shedding. It's your it's your hair. Okay. A little off subject there. How old were you when you first just saw your first horror movie? Oh my gosh. I don't know how old I was, but it was a double feature at the drive-in. My mother and my aunt took... Oh yeah, you told me this. Did I? Yeah. Took me to the drive-in. I can't take this anymore. To see... The Exorcist and Cujo. I liked Cujo. I remember it scaring me, but I think it's already freaked out by The Exorcist. Who takes little kids to go see The Exorcist and Cujo? Yo, mama. Way to go, Barb. And I, <laughs> and I think it's because they wanted to see it. Oh yeah, I feel much better. I felt trapped. God, I'm claustrophobic. I can't deal. So yeah. What about you? But I what? was young. How young was I? I don't really remember. There's a lot of my childhood that I block out. <laughs> um, I, I say I was pretty young because my mom never shielded us from stuff like that. Like she just... <laughs> Not being a bad mom. No, she just, believe me, there's stuff she that... She just didn't... She was like, well, if you want to watch it, watch it. If you want to get scared, then go ahead and go at it. So, I think me and my brother Greg used to... My other brother, Ben, is 13 years different. So, I always refer to Greg because we were so close in age. We used to do stuff to scare each other. So, I think, like, dumb movies like Chucky and... It, it, just dumb, stupid stuff. I can't remember. I, I'm sure I was young, though. Okay, let's see. What was your first Halloween costume? Well, I asked my mom, and she said it was this little jumpsuit thing that had ears, and she thinks it was a cat. Or a bunny. Or a bunny. But one that I know of a picture I have, I was a witch. Me being cursed at the time, I don't mind it now, but with red hair, I was always strawberry shortcake or um, raggedy. raggedy Ann or Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I was always something to do with, and I don't even think Little Red Riding Hood has red hair, does she? She just has a red hood cape I don't know but I I was strawberry shortcake all the time till I was old enough to de deny deny it so what are you going to be for Halloween this year well you're looking at it <laughs> <laughs> if you could have a spooky Halloween pet black cat owl Bat, rat, a wolf, what would you pick? An owl, obviously. 
She's already got one tarantula. That wasn't one of the options, but that tarantula is not mine. It's my daughter and son-in-law's. So, I want no more pets. We have enough pets in this house already, but if I had, it'd probably be a back black cat. Oh, yeah, your cats are a little bit black. Well, they got black in them, but... <laughs> so, joke. that was the tag. And feel free to tag yourself because we don't know who to tag. <laughs> yeah. Good good luck. Anyway, um we're gonna end this video, but um we are going to have a little follow up video because we need to explain a couple things about our yes. giveaways we're... and some things that are coming up. So, so that's gonna be its own special video. Yeah, so we're gonna we're going to get ready to do that now. So, thanks for watching our Halloween spooktacular tag. Sure you were scared. Boo. Boo. Bye, guys.